Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your literacy lesson of the 5th of March, 2021. So, first of all, we are going to be doing your spelling test. So, spelling number one, the word is immature. The children were being immature on the playground. Spelling number two, the word is impossible. The boy thought it was impossible for him to answer his maths homework. Spelling number three, the word is impatient. The man was growing impatient in the queue. Spelling number four, the word is important. It is important you always listen to instructions. Spelling number five, the word is imperfect. The lady's coat had a mark on it, making it look imperfect. Spelling number six, the word is illegible. The doctor's writing was so messy, it was illegible. Spelling number seven, the word is irresponsible. The children were behaving and being irresponsible at the park. Spelling number eight, irresistible. My mum's cooking is truly irresistible. Spelling number nine, illegal. It is illegal to steal from a shop. And spelling number 10, irregular. If a shape has different uh, sorry, if a shape sides are not equal, it is an irregular shape. Okay, so let me go through those again. One, immature. Two, impossible. Three, impatient. Four, important. Five, imperfect. Six, illegible. Seven, irresponsible. Eight, irresistible. Nine, illegal. Ten, irregular. Okay, so now we're going to mark them. So spelling number one. I-M-M-A-T-U-R-E. Spelling number two, I-M-P-O-S-S-I-B-L-E. Spelling number three, I-M-P-A-T-I-E-N-T. -E Spelling number four, I-M-P-O-R-T-A-N-T. -E Spelling number five, I-M-P-E-R-F-E-C-T. Spelling number six, I-L-L-E-G-I-B-L-E. -L -L -E. Spelling number seven, I-R-R-E-S-P-O-N-S-I-B-L-E. -L -E. Spelling number eight, I-R-R-E-S-I-S-T-I-B-L-E. -E. Spelling number nine, I-L-L-E-G-A-L. -L -E and spelling number ten, I-R-R-E-G-U-L-A-R. Okay, so as yesterday was World Book Day, I thought it would be nice now you've finished writing your poems to do some World Book Day related activities. But don't worry, we will be celebrating World Book Day properly when you're all back in school. So thinking time. So on the Word document that I've attached to Teams, please can you answer the following questions? So why is reading important? What can we learn from reading lots? Why is it important to read lots of different texts? What is your favourite book and why? Do you prefer fiction or non-fiction books and why? Who is your favourite author? And once you've answered those questions for yourself, I would like you to ask someone at home or at school about the books they enjoy or enjoyed when they were younger. So pause the video now and go to Teams and complete those questions on the Word document. OK, so what you've got is different tasks that you can choose from or you can choose to complete them all. I have attached the documents, but you won't be able to edit them. So you need to create your own version and take a photograph or complete the activities underneath the questions you've just answered in the same Word document. So task one is all about a character description. So use this as an inspiration and make a poster about your favourite book character and attach it. So you've got what story are they in? What do they look like? What do they do in your favourite story? Why do you like this character? Task two, make a poster to show your top fives. You can even print these sheets off and send us a photo if you want to. So top five authors, top five illustrators, top five favourite lines in a book top five favourite characters and top five favourite books. Imagine you are a book character, who would you be and why? This can be a totally made up character or one of your favourites. 
write a descriptive paragraph about your character. Task four, imagine your life is a book and design your own front cover for the front of that book. Task five, which is so important, is to read a story with an adult, talk about the story and what your favourite part is, because it is so special to share a story with someone. Now, I can't wait to see all of your enthusiastic responses about World Book, Book Day, but even more, I cannot wait to see you next week, Year 4. We can't wait to see your faces and hear about what you've been up to on in lockdown. So again, have a lovely weekend, stay safe, and we can't wait to see you on Monday.